welcome to the official YouTube channel for Santa J. Claus. Be sure to subscribe for new content and comment below to introduce yourself. May the magic of Christmas brighten your days all year long. Well, hello there, my friends. Hello there and best wishes to each of you. I'm so very excited that you're all here today. It is another art live streamy and we have a wonderful wonderful opportunity to paint and learn about another individual this is inspiring individuals from a to z this is the series my friends and we are now today on the letter l l for levar burton i'm very excited to be able to paint this individual and to be able to visit with each of you today. I hope that all is well, my friends, all is well. Everyone is joining in, Everett has joined in. Edie, hello there, Patrick, hello there. Parrot Head, my goodness, hello there, and welcome as well. Daniel is here as well. Welcome, my friends, welcome, and best wishes to you. And if you have not done so yet, my friends, well, I remind each of you to make sure that you are subscribing and click the little jingle bell as well <laughs> well we're going to begin looking at the artwork here we are my friends here we are our wonderful lavar burton you might be able to see the the pencil sketch just a little i've been working a little bit on it but my friends what a wonderful thing most of you will probably know mr lavar burton from his work on what is it on his work my friends on Reading Railroad, but also, what is it, the Reading Rainbow? This is what it is, the Reading Rainbow. Also, he was Geordie LaForge in Star Trek The Next Generation as well. There are so very many wonderful things. He has been working on literacy, all of these things to make sure that we are focusing on reading and imagination as well. Hello there, Bethany has joined in. Suga, hello there, my friends. Good morning, Santa. I just woke up. Well, it's time to get up, my friend. <laughs> Barbie is here as well, joining in. Today, our subject is LeVar Burton. LeVar Burton. And I'm looking forward to getting started. I hope that everyone is doing well. I hope that you all had a wonderful weekend. Well, what have we done so far? Well, I have some watercolor paper that I have taped onto this wooden board here. Why do we do it, my friends? Well, we do it so that as we are painting, that the, the paper does not start to warp and, and to crinkle and move around too much. So we have our watercolor paper. I've gone through and we have penciled in, we've sketched in our drawing. I've sketched this in, my friends, with a Faber-Castell HB pencil. This is a very light pencil. We can make very light lines. We don't have to worry so very much about having to press very hard to make a mark. We can be very light about it, which is always quite nice. And then the, our next step now will be to make sure that we can put some ink all over our drawing. Everywhere you see pencil, we're going to either be doing this or adding in even some added details as well. Hello there, Alan has joined in. Hi, Santa, lovely to see you today from Wales. Alan, I'm wishing you all good things. Ashley, welcome, welcome, my friends. Well, we're going to start with the very easy thing. Let's do the little circle in the background. A very simple thing to be able to do. We're going to go through and add in the rest of it as well. There we are. We have begun. We have done the first lines. <laughs> and here we have Mr. LeVar Burton's sweatshirt as well. Now, my friends, I hope that you're all 
having a wonderful day. I hope that you are working on finding ways to be creative, that you are finding ways to use your imaginations, that you are finding ways to learn new things as well. All of this is so very important. Well, we're going to go through here and we're, we're putting in all of his, all of his sweatshirt. And I'm noticing when I'm looking at the sweatshirt, I'm going to go through and put some textures in here as well. Just to show that that it's more of something that is knit. Does that make sense to each of you? Instead of just the the straight lines here, we're, I'm going to go through here and put in just some some knit little movements here and there. And I will go ahead and also add not only these these here are somewhat wrinkles within the sweatshirt. Wrinkles within the fabrics. And we're not only going to see the not only going to see the uh, I'm going to go very lightly here. Just following on. You see how we've done this? Oftentimes when we are painting, we, we are not needing to do all of the details. What we're needing to do is to show our imagination what is going on. Does this make sense, my friends? Oftentimes in art, it's not that we are putting every single detail in, but we're giving just enough detail that our our brains can figure out the rest. This I think is wonderful. Now I'm going to go through here just on the straight line that I did and I'm just going to kind of break it up just a little bit. We're just putting in just a little bit more movement on this. Just to make sure that it is it's there and that it, it looks like it is fabric. Now, did anyone do anything fun over the weekend? I hope that everyone did something fun, did something to bring your heart some joy. Now, as we go through this as well, and this is going to be a very dark sweatshirt. It is, it is very... Very dark indeed. But what I'm going to go through here now is I'm going to just put in just a few little lines here and there. Just giving it some texture. And Bethany, how are you doing, my friend? I hope that you're doing well. Is all of the shipping done for Mr. Scott Saba? I hope that all of the hard work is paying off. That everyone is so very excited to, to receive their artwork. 
I have been enjoying Scott's painting on the guild. What an enjoyable thing. So very, very talented. Now I'm going through here, and these are very small, so this is not very difficult to be moving my wrist in this way. But if I wanted to speed things up, maybe a little bit more accurate, well then I would make the movement, we would move it in this direction here. Does this make sense? All of these little stitches, little, little, knit little sections of this sweatshirt. And this is where, when you start to do something like this, you think, well, did we really need to do all of this? Because now we're committed. Now, <laughs> now we must go through the whole sweatshirt in this way. I'm not sure that I uh, thought all of this through. <laughs> but it is getting there, my friends. It is getting there. We also have to think about how the fabric is moving. Well, our straight lines here... Our straight lines, and, and this is something that we can do as well. If we want to, put in your straight lines the direction of the fabric. Put it in pencil. See this right here? Very, very easy to do. It's not going to stay there. Now here, it's going to move just a little bit, right? It's going to start to drop down. Maybe drop down just a little bit on the edge there. So then when I go through and I'm starting to starting to put in all of these little little marks of the knit sweatshirt, well, the little dashes are going to be in the same direction. Giving the appearance that something has been knit. And it does not need to be perfect. Remember, the sweatshirt is going to be quite dark. So many of these marks you will barely be able to see. But I think the little detail, I think, will pay off in the end. We shall see. The show Reading Rainbow started in 1983. What a wonderful opportunity Mr. LeVar Burton truly inspired many to read and to love reading. I think this is such a wonderful thing. I hope that all of you are finding ways to enjoy reading. And if, if reading, my friends, is not something that you truly love, I'm thinking that maybe you have not found the right subject to enjoy reading. We're almost done. All of this work, it seems like it's such a small thing, but, but I think it will pay off in the end. Bethany, I'm great. No, I still need him to sign more posters. Oh, Scott has got to get his act together. <laughs> A wonderful, wonderful thing. Here we are, almost done with this one. Wonderful. Now, I'm going to go through here with just a slightly larger zebra brush pen. And I want to... I want to emphasize some of this in here just a little bit more.
Yeah, I think we're getting closer. Wonderful. And Miss Donna has arrived as well. Good morning, good morning, my friend. I love reading Rainbow. Wonderful thing. I wholeheartedly agree. I'd, if you don't enjoy reading, you haven't found the right book yet. This is what I believe as well. He was in Star Trek. A wonderful, a wonderful individual in Star Trek is in Star Trek as well. Now we're going to go through here. Let's. I'm going to. As smoothly as we can, as this is bare skin here, we want that line to be quite smooth. And where it's a little bit jagged right there is fine. We're going to smooth this out with just. It'll be just a little bit of shadow underneath his chin. Let us do this, this ear here. And we're going to go through here and on this one here. I have penciled in a straight line. Do you see the straight line that I've penciled in? Maybe right there you can see it a little better. But now that I'm putting in the hair, I'm using this as a guide, my friends. And so we will go through here as a guide and go through. to do all of the hair. And this hair is very short to the skin. We really do not need long, long movements on this. Does this make sense, my friends? And we will continue to move along on that hairline as well. And I'm going to put in this larger line here as I'm thinking about it. Turn it around. There we are on the hairline. Now, another thing here is we are still going to go through here and put in all of the all of the hair and 
Now, even though it might be quite small in, in the direction of the movement of the ink, we still need to remember what direction the hair is growing. So on these sides, I'm going sideways. I'm, this is where the hair is. away from the front of the face. And from here, I'm going to just fan out from the center. It does not need to be perfect. Everybody here, Coco over there snorting and my goodness. Coco, I'm trying to focus here. <laughs> he went to Southern University of California. Santa for the letter M, it should be Mother Mary. He was in Roots as well. You are correct. He did Reading Rainbow for 23 years. Well, I would love to see another Reading Rainbow as well. I think it would be a, a good time. My friend Michael, I think, would be wonderful to work with LeVar on a new reading rainbow. Wouldn't this one be quite special? My goodness, poor Coco is sneezing and sneezing. I think the allergies are getting to her. I'm going to take a nap. Well, so I'm so very happy that you joined us. I hope that you enjoy your nap. Almost there for the head. We're getting there, my friends. <laughs> there we are. I'm going to go through here and let's do the the eyes as well. Morning, morning. Well, Mr. Scott has joined in. This looks amazing, Santa. You're very kind, my friend. 
You're very kind. We are getting there. Another individual that we see, my friends, where I look at and think, my goodness, all of the wrinkles are in the right spots. An individual that truly has smiled for many, many years. You can see smile lines. These are the very best kind.
Well, we're getting there, my friends. Almost there. Again, also remembering where is the direction coming from. So you see over here, the movement was in this direction. And as we cross the front of the mouth, it starts to move in this direction over here. It's the same. You, you must think, my friends, even, even with my mustache. You see the mustache here? Well, this section here is going to grow this way, and this section is going to grow this way. And so when you are drawing and inking and painting, we're thinking about the direction that everything must go as well. Always, always good to do. Well, we have... We're going to bring this down just a little bit here. Well, it's Mr. LeVar Burton right there, my friends. Just going over here, making sure that there's nothing that I am missing. Jessica, welcome. Sorry, everyone. Our female four-year-old pet cat named Cleo is on my bed. Well, Jessica, best wishes to you. I'm so happy that you're here. I hope all is well. Just going through here and adding in some little shadows here and there. I think most of it though we will do with paint. Which I believe we are right about there at that spot my friends. I'm going to maybe add just a little bit more right in, right in here. Wonderful. Now we're going to use an eating eraser and erase all of the pencil lines that are hiding underneath the ink there. Hello Santa, I just stay up at 11 p.m. Sleep soon, but I'll keep watching your stream. Well, I'm so very happy that you're here and I'm wishing you all good things. And now it is time to begin the painting. I'm going to go with a, a light blue on the background. Maybe I can move this over just a bit. The watercolor that I'm using is a German watercolor. It is called Schminke. I'm going to use quite a bit of water on this one, as I don't want it very dark.
And just like that, we have a background color. I thought about doing a rainbow in the background. <laughs> but there it is, a nice even blue as well. And blow dryer. go through and also add in let's do the sweatshirt as well Now I've added in just a little bit of blue, a little bit of gray in here. But we will darken it up quite a bit. This just gets us started. And blow dryer. I'm going to go through. My goodness, we're going to go through here and add in some more darkness to this now. Where might it be? Well, it's all over the place, really, but we're going to go through here. Also, all in here. Any, anywhere we see these, these wrinkles, these folds within the fabric, well, we will, we will put them in there as well. And then also finding where the light is. Well, there is a lot of darkness, right? All along in here. We will get there eventually. I'm adding in just a little, a little bit here and there as well. And blow dryer. I'm going to go through here and add. Let's do one more pass, and then we will also be adding more when it comes time for for the shadows. We will add additional shadows in here as well.
and blow dryer. Now we're going to knock down some of the white. Just a little. Let's do. Let's see if we can do it this way. Adding in just a little bit of blue. Now we will go through here. Might not seem like a, a lot, but it does make a difference, I believe. And the eyes are going to be darker, so I'm not worried about there being some blue in there as well. And blow dryer. And I send a DM on Instagram to you. Sebastian, hello there, my friend. I do not always have time to look at the, the, what is it called? The digital messaging. But I will try my very best to take a look. I'm going to go through here and we're going to add in some color on his face. I'm going to skip the, we don't want it in the eyes. Or on the teeth. And there's a little bit here. Can everyone hear Coco snoring? My goodness, so very loud today. Now with all of this slightly damp, I'm going to go through here and add in just a little bit more a little bit more red. Just to, just in the center part of the face here. And we'll give some more color to to the lips. But this will blend out just a little bit. Remember, we're doing this in steps. And blow dryer. And I'm 
going to go through here while I'm thinking about it, and I'm just going to put in some of this color up in here as well. We will darken it later, but just to add in just a little bit there. Now, how are we mixing? We're going to mix in some more color as well. Hopefully you can see this. I will try to move this over a little. Here we are. This is what I've been working with for his skin tone. We're going to add in just a little bit more yellow. And we're going to go with some red. And just a touch, touch of blue. You see how much blue is in that? We didn't want all of that. I'm putting it over there. There, I believe we have a, a good secondary color. We're going to be adjusting it quite a bit, but here we are looking at where the shadows are, where the shadows are playing around. And I'm going to go through here and basically find where all of the, all of the brightness is. And we're going to leave, leave all of it there. So there is... We're going to paint this in here and all down in here as well. And it will go around and down in here and through here as well. There's a little bit here underneath and underneath here as well. And we're going to go through also all along in here. And also along in here. So just adding in the color where where it belongs. I'm going to put in some shadows along in, in his ear here. And then also along in this edge here as well. There's quite a bit of shine on his forehead, and so I'm trying to include this little spot here as well. So going through this, my friends, and just finding where where all of this is. 
you'll notice here some harsher spots in here. I'm going to go through here and just blend this out just, just a little bit. And blow dryer. Going to go through here and give give his hair some some color. Just like that. I'll give some color here as well. And I'm going to put in some color for his eyes as well. This is just the first pass on his eyes. Sensei, you are a well-studied artist. Well, I'm not quite sure about that, my friends, but I enjoy art. I think art is a beautiful thing. And I'm always trying to, to be better at it where I can. I'm going to go through and we're going to add in just a little bit more. Color. Just mixing in some more color for his skin. And we're going to go all the way down here. Whee! I'm going to go through here and let's darken this up just a little bit more.
and I'm going to go through here and I'm going to do just an overall wash, my friends. What does this mean? Well, I'm going to add in just enough Let's use the blow dryer. I'm going to go through here. Let's let's add in clean a little spot off here. Now I've used a lot of water in this, my friends. You see the colors we've been using. Now here I've watered it down quite a bit. And this will be a very quick, a very quick pass a lot of water just to give just a little bit more color it's not a lot but it does make a difference and blow dryer. I'm going to go through here and mix in just a little bit of shadow. What are we doing for the shadow? Well, we're going with some purples and blues. And where will we put it? Well, everywhere that there is shadow. We're going to put a, a little bit there. It's interesting, too, the difference in the color. You would, you would not think that putting purple down would be the right the right idea but it truly does do a wonderful job we're going to do also all of the different shadow areas we're going to add in just a little bit of that purple You also do it all along the edge here as well. You see the difference it makes, my friends. Such a difference. We also have some shadows along in here. And we'll do some shadows along in here as well. And even his teeth, you wouldn't think that his teeth would have shadows, but my friends, they do. And do the eyes have shadows? Well, certainly the eyes have shadows too. I think we're almost there, my friends. There's just a little bit more to do. I'm 
I'm going to add just a little bit more as I'm looking here. I'm going to add just a little bit more of a shadow along in here. Wonderful. And I'm going to add in just a little bit more shadow along in here as well. Wonderful. Well, we're getting there, my friends. We're getting there. What, what shall we do now? Well, I'm going to go through and we're going to add in some highlights with the Uniball Signal pin. It's a white pin. And I'm going to put in, as I'm looking around, there are just a few little, few little gray hairs. He's, that we're going to add in just a little bit here and there. Not a lot, but he earned those gray hairs. We're going to we're going to put just just a few in there. Wonderful. I'm also going to put in It's like he has come to life, my friends. Now we're also going to do just a just a few little spots in here. A few little spots in here where we want some of that that brighter color. Not much, but it makes a difference. And I'm going to just Give him just a little bit more. On the eyelashes. We'll do a little outline too. There it is, my friends. And now that I'm looking at it, I'm going to just add in just a slight little, little more. There's, this is with the way it is with art, my friends. You're always seeing something that you're thinking to add to. So I'm going to just water down just a little bit more of a red tone. 
I'm just seeing just a little slight little bit more right in here. Just a little bit. It's not very much, but it makes a difference. We're layering the colors. And there it is, my friends. Let us sign it. We can remove the tape. I hope that you enjoyed it today, my friends. Mr. LeVar Burton, I'm looking quite forward to being able to, to put together the video for today as well. And this is something that's so very important to all of you that are joining in and, and having some fun with our live streamies. I hope that you will take time each day to maybe find one of the, one of the larger videos and let it play. Enjoy it, my friends. It is always very helpful as it's telling all of the social medias that people are watching. And I... I believe in each of you, my friends. I know that you're there and watching along, and I'm grateful to each of you as well. Mr. LeVar Burton, what a wonderful individual, a very inspiring individual. And I hope, my friends, that you were able to be a little inspired today as well. I cannot wait to create the video to talk a little bit more about him. But, my friends, I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Truly, truly. I hope that wherever you are out in the world, morning, afternoon, or night, I hope that you are doing things that bring you joy to your heart. I want to remind each of you that you are special and that you matter and that I am grateful that you are here, certainly. Taking the tape off. And there we have it, my friends. There it is. <laughs> Here we are, my friends. We have done it once again. An art live streaming. I'm wishing you all good things. Be kind to those around you. But also, my friends, put forth the effort to be kind to yourself. It is so very important. My friends, I wish you all good things. From my heart to yours, may your day be filled with happiness and peace and love, and joy, and all good things. I will see you soon, my friends. Who will be the next inspiring individual from A to Z that I will paint in a few days? We shall see. 